Hello everyone. So today I want to share my Handmade by Abigail's Designer Sheet project. Um, I'm going to just jump right in and just show you the bits and pieces that I used to create this, guys. So first of all, I knew I wanted to use green in this project, but I didn't want to go too dark. So I started off with this Ranger Distress Oxide in old paper. It's a really lovely um i call it an olive green that's what i call it um and i absolutely loved that color and then i also used the distress ink in spun sugar um and i basically used that to create my base color base color base yeah well base color the the color that is um laid down at the bottom i was going to use some momentum i'm just trying to think what color it was it was um a darker yellow color i don't have it to hand it was a darker yellow color but i tried it on a piece of paper and i didn't like the way the three colors were merging together so i left the yellow out of it and then i knew i wanted to do a brown stamped image on this paper and i went with memento um rich cocoa i really love this color it's really nice um rich chocolatey color and it just really reminds me of vintage vintage things so yeah i used that one and then the stamps that i used i the first time actually i've opened this pack and um i got it from the range and um it was reduced a couple of times i think yeah you can see it was reduced a couple of times to 6.99 and um i bought this this is the stamp it comes with a die it's from Crafters Companion Nature's Garden. I've had it in my stash a while and I thought perfect opportunity to pull it out. So I just pulled off a couple of pieces from there and I'll show you in a second. You probably can see it there, um, which pieces I pulled off. And then I'm, I think this was from a magazine or a paper collection. I don't know. I've just got this in my stash as well. This little stamp set um, absolutely gorgeous. You can see like it's not even sticking anymore. Like it's really sticky. The stickiness has kind of gone a bit but these images here i just used actually the flower from this one and then i placed them onto my um, stamping block like this in this kind of a pattern so that i could um create this piece of paper here so let's have a closer look at the paper so this is the design I came up with. Guys, I knew that I wanted to use gold. Um, I actually created um, last month's paper pad, um, paper design. And I was going for, a, trying to do some monochromatic work. Um, I'll probably just show you a bit of it here if I haven't already. Um, well, you would have already seen, probably seen the bit. Anyway. <laughs> I then decided mm, I like the monochromatic kind of look but what if I added in a bit more color so hence the background color and then guys I'm absolutely loving using this gold leaf here if you remember I hauled it a little while ago I think it was I bought it from um yeah I bought it from hunky dory so it's in my hunky dory haul and I absolutely love using it first time I used it I was finding it difficult weren't sure how to connect it but then just as all these things are these things that we buy for our crafting sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get the hang of but I absolutely love the layer layering down and to be honest I just got right in there I put a bit of glue smeared it with my finger and then used another finger to kind of tap the gold leafing into to create this and I think it's gorgeous I'm really really happy I think this is the first one that I'm happy with in the month so guys I want to make um, mm, 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 the exact same box that I made last month and remember this box guys so this is the monochromatic box that i made and i'm gonna go through it hopefully i'm gonna try and do it as quickly as i can and i'm gonna show you how i made this box so this will also be my project for um the handmade by abigail so first of all we need to cut this piece of paper i'll put the measurements in the description below 
also you need to cut your paper 10 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter i just want to point something out so because i'm i knew i was going to be making a 3d craft with this um piece of paper and paper orientation could be an issue i decided that my paper multi-directional so that it wouldn't matter in the construction which way it was facing so you know if i did all my um sunflowers i don't know if you know if that is a sunflower is it sunflower anyway instead of having them all go in the same direction because i've turned them oscillated them around different ways it will hopefully look all right on um the box once it is constructed so again i've cut my paper 10 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter and to make the box um the lady is actually her name is content i think it's contender crafts i will link it in the description down below she used the em envelope punch board to create this and so um this is what i'm going to be using so this is my one we are memory keepers punch board and i'm going to start with my measurement at four inches so i'm just going to line my paper up at the four inches mark grab my little scoring tool all right so we got it at four inches there grab my little scoring tool so i always punch first and then score and then find the little groove and then make the score so it might be a bit difficult um if you've got lots of patterning on your paper but um as long as you can see your line you might want to make a little pencil line hold on if i go a bit longer okay i could have done that a bit longer but yeah so hopefully this turns out because i've taken it out too early guys so we're gonna punch let's just line that up again at four and let's just elongate that line all the way yeah and then let's turn it around and then as you know you just with this punch board well if you have if you didn't know there's a little um little lip there and you line up your scored line with that little lip to create your next punch and score line so i believe that's married up it's hard to see guys because of the lighting but yeah i think that is married up so i'm gonna punch and then just score that and then we'll do the next one line that up one of my little sticky pad feet's missing so it's slipping on my glass mat but yeah so we'll line that up again punch And then you have your score line for your envelope and then to create the box so that you've got your your width on the sides we're going to line up our piece of paper at the five so because we want to have an inch inch around um you know an inch deep box we're gonna add an inch onto our measurement and we're gonna start at five inches and we're gonna repeat again the same thing that we just done with the four inches so i've just lined it up here at the five inches and then i'm gonna punch and score and i'm gonna do this to the, all the four corners And then you now have your net, which is like your plan, your lay, your 
scored piece for your envelope and as you can see the lines there and the punches have now created your little bit so that the paper can fold and not get stuck and then if you wanted to you could round your corners so if you didn't know the we are memory the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board also has a little bit here where you can put your paper in to create a rounded edge. So we'll just put that in and we'll round all my corners. it doesn't matter um the orientation because i did turn my stamp around but i'm going to decide which side i want to um which way around i want to have it but before i do that i'm just going to fold along all of the um scored lines this i think makes a really beautiful gift box the lady had some lovely um i think it was 12 bars actually so now this part is going to be important so i've now got my folds my sides folded and you can see here how the box is going to come together but what we want to do is to cut our tabs which way you're going to have your envelope what's your top and bottom if you see that with your scoring you've actually created these little squares on the side so where these two lines meet you've got this little area here these are going to become your tabs now i found for my box that i actually quite enjoyed having the tabs tuck into the box just to help it this is what i mean i've cut the tab across here you can see if this makes sense so that when my box is closed they tuck in and it just helps with um the neatness on the edge of the box for that fold so to do that what we need to do we're going to cut in this way in this direction across from your two smaller side flaps so i'm just going to do that now with some scissors and i'm just going to cut this way so it's going to be along the horizontal line and not and not the vertical line and then at the bottom i also cut along these lines as well on the horizontal but to be fair i think on the bottom it doesn't matter as much as long as the top ones are along the horizontal line guys but then again, that is just preference because I just like the way that it tucks in at the top. And so we have our little tabs here. Hope you can see that. And then we're just going to glue our box together. So I'll show you how it will come together. So as you can see, this, so it tucks together like the normal envelope, but you now have this inch girth <laughs> width i should say this inch width around the edge so that you can it's a bit deeper and you can fill it with some stuff so that is the back and then this will be the front I'll tuck those bits in and that will be the front and that will be the end thing so i'm just going to use some red line tape just to secure all the bits
I put the tape on the wrong side, haven't I, guys? What have I done? Sorry about that. Is this going to work now? So do not follow what I just said. You actually need to put the tape on the other side, on this side, your printed side. Ugh. Well, sometimes these things do happen and it just so happens because I didn't burnish it on, I can actually just peel that up. And let's try this, get this side off. Yeah. So because I didn't burnish it on, I can get it off without tearing. Because if you know red line tape, once you push that baby down, that's it. If you can't get that tape back up. So I'm going to stick a bit of tape on that side. So we just stick a bit of tape there. Right. That should be right. Yeah, that's going to be right now. So this part is a bit fiddly but yeah it's not too bad so i'm just going to take the stick those bits down now So let's stick it down now. Oh, it is a bit sticky though. Hopefully it'll be all right. So I'm just going to measure up this corner with the first crease and just make that a really nice join. So I'm gonna have to, and I'll show you in a second what I mean. So I've just married it up to that score line there and then I'll do the same to the other side. So you get a nice join and then I'm going to just, Ooh, where's the other side? So I'm not going to press down straight away just so that I know I've got it in the right position. So this is the fiddly bit guys, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. It hasn't even so once you've actually got the corners joined on it does help with the positioning of your side piece so that it is square because you don't want it to be leaning too far or over otherwise it won't the box won't stand square <laughs> that's the best way that i can describe it so i've only just peeled a little bit of the tape back just so i can see positioning and it helps that you can then peel it back up because if you stick as i said the whole thing down then no you're done for so then those bits can fold in there that bit will fold down there make sure everything's square think it is as much as i can see to the eye so i'll just take out the rest of the red the red tape there and stick that down so i'm just taking a little notch off of here just to make it easier to go in and out of the box and this is my box so and then you can use whatever velcro or sticky dot or um little wax melt on the back however you please now the lady in the video she does put a belly band on and i might actually do that um, from your 12 by 12 paper you have these two bits of scraps left over so guys if you like this kind of video um, and you enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video have a good day guys bye